Hey guys, and thank you so much for tuning in to my channel. My name is The Lady Designer, and today we are back with another community zoo tour. And in today's video, we are going to check out Tinwood City Zoo made by Tinwood Tin I really hope I do pronounce this right. Now, this one comes with a lot of billboards for this like backdrop. Okay, I, I need to pause this just for a little bit. For this backdrop of the city, you guys, I have never seen anything like this before. This looks <laughs> so incredible. Like, it's so impressive how you did this. It must have taken so much time and work to, because I'm guessing these are like different type of billboards. And then you have to make sure that everything is just magic. I'm, I'm speechless. This, this already looks super impressive. So... I, I cannot wait to see this one just walking around in the zoo. I, I think it's gonna give such an amazing ambiance to this whole city zoo. Um, if, if you want to check out this zoo yourself as well, of course, I will leave the link in the description of this video. And do not forget to download all these billboards yourself to get this a complete experience like we are going to have right now in this video but also please do not forget to leave a thumbs up on the workshop link because as always it really does help out any creator out there for a better ranking for their incredible hard work and uh, yeah if you have a finished view you would like me to check out as well on the channel then please do make sure to read the description of this video of how you can send me your finished view as well and who knows i might be able to check out your zoo as well on the channel in the future now without further talking Let's go and find the entrance right over here. But, oh man, I have never seen anything like this before. This looks absolutely amazing. Tina, this is, this, this is insane. I, I, I would not even know where to start when, when doing this. Absolutely love this. Just, just look at the, oh, just all the buildings everywhere. This looks insane, but it's it's like it's it's really asking something. It's like a pretty small zoo, but it's really asking something of my computer. Look at this really cool parking lot as well. Like I think I don't know. I thought maybe like when I go lower, then you won't see like the top. Oh, but this this looks exactly Ah, this is exactly how it should look, a city zoo with the surroundings. I can only hope that Frontier is going to add like this real city zoo background at some point. Man, this is amazing. This looks so good. Oh my god, look at the entrance here. I love it, I love it. This is just really classical city zoo entrance. Absolutely Love this. This looks this looks <laughs> amazing, Tina. <laughs> oh, really do like this. So we have this beautiful entrance right over here using the really classical pieces of the game. Absolutely love it that you're using that. Like I think I feel like one of the first that we're doing a zoo tour that is actually really using these pieces. Like you you probably should in the game. Absolutely love this. All right, all right, let's see, because oh, this looks so cool. <laughs> this is just such an amazing experience. Camels are the chameleons of the desert. So we have some camels in here. I, 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 I need to pause this zoo all the time that I'm going to walk around, unfortunately. But oh, I, love, I love the different height elevations here. And also the rock work looks really nice. This is a very nice habitat. Really, really cool. Uh, so what is this then? Wait, what? Oh, you can actually look into their shelter here. Oh, that is really cool. I've never seen anything like that. I really love that you added that. That's super creative. Oh, we have the uh, Indian Rhino right over here. Also very nice habitat. Definitely more realistic being like more plain what you pretty often see. Maybe a little bit of, of, of <laughs> some terrain could work, but this definitely is like the older city zoo vibe, like 
just a lot of concrete which you would definitely not want to see these days anymore but it, it, i think it, i think this is also meant to be a pretty old city zoo so uh it makes total sense indian rhino information i love this as well this is really cool how you can look into their indoor shelter here really do like this i actually didn't know we had this piece is this custom made north african oh it's from the north africa pack oh i i, I actually kind of forgot i guess <laughs> Oh, wait, okay, let's remove that. Uh, oh, it's a pity that I can't put it on, on play all the time. Oh, I really like this shop here as well. So what do we have on this side? We have an elephant's viewing gallery. Oh, we actually have like the big African savanna right over here with all kinds of different animals. Oh, look at that. Oh, they have such a beautiful space in here. And just, just notice the backdrop, guys. Notice the backdrop. Right now, you cannot see that these are billboards. It just really feels like we're somewhere in a city walking around. This is so impressive. Absolutely amazing work. Okay, and so if we go around here... Oh, you really, you really make it feel like an actual city. So you really do like this big of a sign here as well with all the different type of animals and we just go around here you have some glass walls you actually have like the the border of your city zoo here as well absolutely love that audio guides yes we do really like that as well i like it that you have like this african theme going on on this side this looks really good some nice little shots here. Really like the amount of details that you're using here to decorate everything around here. Look at this even. Absolutely love this. This is such a great way of using all the African pieces for the African uh, theme in your zoo. Wait, are these the meerkats? Yes, meerkats and the art fark in here. And I like it that you have like this, this natural boundary right over here looking into the african savannah habitat which is in the back it feels really natural it kind of feels not separated if you see what i mean really like this i really like how you set this all up what does a lion call meerkat fast food <laughs> oh my god the signs are so funny you did mention something about the reading the signs now reading everything is, is probably not going to be uh i think i'm going to miss out on a lot of the signs but i would highly recommend anyone to go into the zoo and uh read it all <laughs> oh i really do like this seizing area here as well by the way for some nice shade for the guests this looks really beautiful absolutely gorgeous Okay, so you have the big sign here as well, and then another viewing. Oh, we actually see the white rhino here as well. Really do like the bridge here, how you decorated it. That looks super beautiful. Oh, you have two actually. Oh, that's so cool. Like this is probably, <laughs> it feels like half of your zoo. Just a big African savanna. Really like that. So what is this? This is also like, oh, this is probably for the right rhino or is this just the African savannah in general? I don't see signs around here. I th I'm guessing that this is, yes. Okay, this is a shelter for the African savannah. Oh, I find this so creative, such an amazing way of giving them their privacy, but still give your guests a way to look into their habitats really really like the way how you implemented this oh there's a timber wolf is that a video i think this is yeah this is the planet coaster uh planet coaster planet zoo trailer <laughs> also really nice corner here as well i really do like how you implemented the african theme in here and it looks so big like the the african savannah habitat is 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 humongous 
I'm really curious when we go into look from the top, like if it's really, it feels like like half of your zoo. Absolutely love this. This looks incredible. And you even have an indoor area right over here with the shelter. I also really do like how you use these locks here in the wall. Wait, is that like a, a path sticking out? Is there like another level on top of here? What is that? Oh my god, there are so many signs here. Wait, I want to know. It feels like... Oh, there is. Oh, this is a staff area. Okay, this is not, not for our eyes. <laughs> this is a staff path underneath there. Okay, so you can have uh, another audio tour right over here. And some more signs. And then we go outside and you have another glimpse in here of another piece. Oh, this is definitely like closed off, so you can't really have elephants on this side, I, I think. I think this is more for like the smaller animals. Oh, look at this. This is an actual backstage area, isn't it? <gasps> oh, how cool. Oh my god, I love how you use this, this airlock for like the cars as a gate here. I actually didn't know you could just add that. Oh, that's really cool. Oh my god, I'm gonna use that for my own zoos. That, ugh, I really had no idea. Like these gates look really realistic. Just not for like the cars. <laughs> Absolutely love this idea. It's so creative. I've never seen anyone using that before, did we? I really can't remember. I really do like this backstage area. It's very inspiring. You even have like a workshop here. Oh, wow. This is so awesome. There's just such a big area as well, by the way. Holy cow. Like so many different habitats. So many different areas where they can like just keep a close eye on the animals temporarily and split them off from their real habitat. Oh, I love this facility building. Oh, I really do like this style. Administration building. Oh, that looks so good. I'm so impressed by this whole backstage area. I actually did not think when looking from above that you actually had such a big backstage area even. That is incredible. Really, really nice work. Okay, we got out of the backstage area. Look at this Binturong habitat. Oh my god, I love what you did here. It's not like super big, but it feels so city zoo style. I, I love that it has like this, this uh, shade area from the roofing here, from the awnings. Smell that. That's cat bear. You're... <laughs> Oh god, yes, the signs are definitely worth it to read. I love this. <laughs> oh, I really also love this climbing frame here as well. What is that? How do they actually throw food onto there? I've never seen them using doing that. It almost feels like fake. <laughs> it's rotten though. <laughs> I guess we also smell something else in here. But this climbing frame looks amazing. Also really do like how you use like chain link fans and then with these, uh, what is it called, ivy or something. And then like the mixture with the glass and then the limestone. Oh man, this is so inspiring. What a really great way of making a zoo, making a habitat. They are not pacing, which is direct result from being programmed not to. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, look at this beautiful West African lion habitat with these different height elevations and even a cave in here. Oh, and even like a jeep in here, all of that. I love these small little details. I also really like how you use the fencing here to make it more safe for your guests. That works super well. 
I really like this. Okay, we have the European badge. I also really do like how you used the fencing here together with like these bigger aquatic um, aquatic fences with the glass. Absolutely love this. Hello, cutie. Oh, this feels so city zoo stylish. So much inspiration for my own city zoo. Really, really love it. You can really tell like the 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 smaller habitats here in air as well really like this <gasps> look oh look at this how beautiful i love this climbing frame for the rat pandas that looks so cool really like the terraforming in here as well like the different height elevations it's such an interesting habitat how you how you actually did this what if there is more to life than bamboo and that? <laughs> oh god, you did a great job with the sides. Definitely did. Ah, oh, really, really like this as well with the flowers here and like the planter in the middle. How? This is... Oh, what? What? This is such a cool climbing frame. Really like how you use all these rope pieces here as well. This is really, really amazing. Also, really love how you did this here. Make it look a little bit more natural with all these um, these green vines. Or ivy, it's called. Oh, God. Oh, man, look at this. Even, like, solar panels? Oh, well, oh wait, no, these are... Oh, God, you can, you can tell that I haven't, have not been playing uh, franchise mode or career mode for such a long time. I think these are just in-game ones. But how you put this down, oh, I absolutely love it. You you actually tricked me here for a little bit. Really love this. Just, but look at this. Oh my goodness. This looks so beautiful. They like to move it, move it. Okay, Rachel Levers. Ah, <laughs> oh, really nice climbing frame here as well. I really love it how you made like this big cage, not a very cage here <laughs> for the Rachel lemurs. This looks absolutely incredible. Oh, I really do like this. I do feel like I am I'm just walking around here without I'm I'm probably missing out on some habitats. Gonna do my best to make sure that we will see everything. Also really do like the climbing frames here with the little cabins. That looks really amazing. Also really like the, the natural light here coming from the roof. Just uh, if you just look like this, the background. Uh, I'm just so speechless about this. This looks so gorgeous. Um, okay, so there's a path going down here. Then we have a proboscis monkey. Wait, was this the badger? Badger edition. Crips badger edition. <laughs> uh, watch monkeys watching you. Watching monkeys watching you. <laughs> so we can... Look at this climbing frame! Oh my god, you're so original with your climbing frames. Like, these are really climbing frames that I've never seen before and I absolutely love them. You really have your own style of creating climbing frames. This looks absolutely amazing. Really well done. And what do we have on this side? I think it's a chimp or a bonobo bonobos. Just look at these climbing frames as well. They look so good. Oh, I like it that you actually added some 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 fruit props in the habitat as well. That's so smart, actually. I would never think of these things, but it's so easy to do that, and it works so well. Japanese macaque, also a really nice climbing frame. Really do like it. Also looks like we have like some kind of indoor building as well. Also just notice this, like these little things here. What is on, on, what is hanging here? Just a little rope knot. Yes, of course. I would never think of that. Why not? That's amazing. So inspiring. Absolutely love this. Okay, so we can go inside of here. There's a dwarf caiman on the left side. 
Oh, look at this. Some actual indoor. We can actually walk in here. There are orangutans in here as well. Look at the little swing. Isn't that the coolest? I also really love the background here. I think these are from the um, aquatic pack. Never thought of using those for a wall like that, but that works so well. Man, it's so inspiring. How awesome. Oh, really, really cool. Oh, and there are actually uh, uh, keeper's gates underneath there. So it's just like going down for stuff. Oh, these are actually toilets. <laughs> I'm so impressed. It's amazing how we are like, I, I think we, we have around 30 zoo tours or something on the channel right now. And it's just so extremely cool to see so many people having a different style in Planet Zoo with the same, like we all have the same pieces, but yet everyone can create their own style. Oh, I absolutely love this as well. This is such a cool indoor area. But like everyone can create their own style in this game. And uh, it's just so amazing. Like nothing looks the same. I absolutely love this. I also really do like this indoor area as well for the capuchin monkeys. Really do like this climbing frame as well. What an amazing... I also just noticed like how there's just a, a giant building here in the back. Oh, you are so creative. Okay, so let's go outside here because there is uh, another outdoor area here as well for the orangutans. Oh, man. Again, such a cool climbing frame. Something I've never seen before. Oh, you also even have a little waterfall here. And then you can go to the indoor area underneath there. This looks so extremely good. Really well done. Look at this. What? Oh my goodness, this is such a cute giant otter habitat. I really love how you use all the... <laughs> Look at that one. I love how you use all these little stairs that they are able to climb up here. Oh, I want to see this more up close. So there's a little... Oh, Look at that. There's a little cave underneath there. But look at all these little staircases. Oh my god, I, th I think... Oh. This is the most coolest giant otter habitat I have seen so far. Just how? I absolutely love this. I love what you did here. I love it that they have like these, all these little corners where they can have some privacy. And they even, oh, what's so smart. So there's, there's like this underwater viewing, including a tunnel. Gosh, this is so, so creative. Uh, this is probably my most favorite part of your zoo. Uh, I just, I'm speechless. I'm, I'm not... Uh, how you did this? This looks amazing. Really, really well done, Tina. They've been to Hats Fantastic. <laughs> oh my god, I love this. Oh, what a great habitat. For cute little dull sheep. So many different height elevations here as well, by the way. I do really like that, especially for a city zoo. I really like what you did here. Uh, so there's a path going up here and there's a path going here. So I think we're just... <sighs> a real city zoo. It is. It is a real city zoo. It's so impressive. Oh my god, what is this? Welcome back. Welcome back. Am I... Wait, did I just... Oh no, don't tell me that I, I walked around here already. This is the entrance. It's a different entrance. Yes. Our, like my favorite zoo, Rotterdam Zoo, also has an old entrance and a new entrance. So you just, you have that too. I love that. Oh man, this is so cool. 
I really like this. That you have like a different area. Look at all these statues here, how you use that. I absolutely love that. So when we go, oh, you have prairie dogs. Oh my God, look how you did this. I love the frames here for the edge. The combination with the thick glass as well, that works so well. And then you have like the different heights here in the habitat just to make sure that the guests can actually see them on eye level. Oh, that is so cool. Really well done in this habitat. It feels so realistic. Also, just these things, guys, using these trees here. It feels so realistic, but it's something that I just never would thought of. But having this as a wall, basically splitting off. I think this is even the edge of the of. The, yes, it is the edge of the city zoom. It works so extremely well. And I, I think they even help for like people living on the other side for for like the noise and stuff. I think, I think, I'm not really sure if that was the idea as well, but it just, it looks amazing and it works. It works. Oh man. Oh, we have a fennec fox habitat here. Guys, look at this. Again, the height elevations. This is so cool. So wait, wait, how? Oh, I love this little cave area. Oh, you can even see them here. Look at them hiding away from the sunlight like a gamer with too good of a game. <laughs> I will not be reading all the sides, guys, but the ones that we see are so funny at this point. Really do love them. Oh, you even have like a webcam in here. Oh my god, this is so funny. Really. What an amazing zoo, like the whole experience. Wait, what is this? Llamas. It's like the whole package, like it's super inspiring, creative and just a really fun experience. You put so much attention to everything. Also, I don't want to forget to mention this, but also the staff in this zoo are all females, like you really did put attention to small little details like hello there's your female <laughs> female vet uh, but it, i do really like that you really put in attention to small little details and you can really tell oh wow oh my goodness look at this this again feels just so realistic i'm really curious if you use like any real life zoo as inspiration for this one or that you just made everything up yourself it's incredible it really is such an amazing job just look at this i i really i'm, I'm so amazed by how you combine these i think this is concrete uh yeah i think it's concrete not plaster pieces Together with like the snow, this this does exactly resemble like that fake snow you have in some zoos, especially in like the older habitat. You you nailed it here with making it look old and realistic. Really love this. Oh, there's actually an underwater viewing gallery. We wanna go there. We wanna go there if I know how. <laughs> So we have some kind of reptile house here, it feels like. Okay, this is what we saw on the other side just now. Um, is there like an entrance maybe from this side going down? Oh my goodness, look at that. You actually made your own fake exhibit. Wait, it's not fake. Or is it? Yeah, it is fake. This is the statue. Yes, this is. Oh, you fooled me here. You fooled me here. You did such a great job on this. Wow. I, I like this. I like this a lot. I love the signs here as well. 
That looks so beautiful. Wait, uh, oh, oh, you actually have seals here as well. So this is the other side. Okay, so yes, underneath here you walk and then you go to the other side. And then you have some seals here. Oh, look at this. Oh, this is so cool. Just look at the top here. Well done on, on giving this, this habitat like more of a harbor feeling. Really like this. Wait, can you actually... Oh, no, I thought maybe there was like a, a path going up here. Oh, wow. Such incredible work. You really did a great job on this. Is there like a path maybe going down here then? Oh, here maybe. Oh, so this one is going down. Oh, you actually have... <gasps> What? Okay, so this is a dwarf caiman habitat. And then you have different... What? This is not a dwarf caiman. What am I saying? This is a, a crocodile, saltwater crocodile or, or something. Wait, what? Where was a dwarf caiman habitat that I saw a sign up then? We, we probably have missed it. If we go down here, there is like this whole tunnel system for penguins. You're kidding me! Just how? There is so much to explore in this zoom. Absolutely love this. And I feel so realistic again, like with all the concrete like I just said. It looks so cool. Oh, I feel... Uh, it's such a pity that I need to pause this all the time, but... <gasps> I love the backdrop here as well. Are these, I think they're called murals or something. Uh, so, pick me hippo. Ah, <gasps> look at this. Oh, I love how you like added like a shop or what is this? There's food and drinks even. So you have like this nice seating area. And then a pick me hippo underwater viewing gallery. Do we see some pick me hippos? I don't think so. Ah. I want to see some pygmy hippos! Ah, oh, we're unlucky here. Uh, but we do need to find, like, the top layer of this one as well. Oh man, I just love how everything is so close together. It definitely feels like a city zoo to me. Like a smaller city zoo. Swimming in the crock pond will be on the expense of your own personal insurance. <laughs> Duh! <laughs> oh my god, you're so funny. Oh, I really like this. Oh, look how beautiful this looks. And then you get in here. Science tip. You can distinguish an alligator from a crocodile by paying attention to whether the animal sees you later or in a while. <laughs> oh, wow. So we have a Bengal tiger habitat here. I'll even have a white Bengal tiger. Oh, you're running so fast. Where are you going? Oh my God, look at this. What a nice habitat here as well. So now when we go around here, Bengal tiger, there are some shops here so you can go around here to the back oh there's actually a path going above the bengal tiger habitat i don't know there's something in your planning that is so interesting really like it really like what you did here oh we have an okapi oh my god look at this the viewing gallery with the rocks here oh that's so inspiring really like how you did this here and just give the Okapi a little bit more privacy here as well, because that is definitely something they like. <laughs> Wait, this is not an Okapi. That's that's a bongo, I, I think. Or Niala. Oh god, tell <sighs> I <ha> Why? <laughs> what is wrong with me? Uh this is a bongo. Is it? Yes, I think it is. <laughs> it's a bongo and an okapi. Oh no, wait, it's also a Niyala. Okay, okay, they're both in here, so I don't have to... 
<laughs> I'll be confused. They're both in here. Oh man. But really, really nice hat hat. Really absolutely love this uh this viewing gallery here, how you did this. I really like that. Uh so when we go around here. Oh my goodness, the FPS. Look at that. I love how you use these temple pieces here. Tortoises! Yes! We love some tortoises. Really nice indoor habitat on this side. Really like how you use all the temple pieces here as well. Wait, what is that? Oh, there's another entrance here. And then you have the other tortoise here as well. I like this. I like how you have like this dedicated area for the tortoise. Absolutely love this. I know Kane will also love this. Don't you, Kane? <laughs> if you're watching, I know you're watching. You're always watching. And I know you are obsessed by the tortoise. So this is definitely a place you would love Oh man, just look at this viewing gallery here as well with the African pieces. I never use the African pieces. Oh, it's actually a shelter for the pygmy hippos. Oh, look how beautiful this looks here. But the question is, oh, there is a pygmy hippo. Oh, you can also, can you also walk in there? Oh, you can. Oh, look how close up you are here. Oh, this is such a nice habitat for them. I bet they enjoy. Don't tell me. What? Is this? No! Wait, what? Is this the other? It is. Isn't? Uh, no! Is this the other entrance? Where we came in? I think so, yes. I think these are the camels. Okay, let me see if I did not miss out on any animals in here. I, I think we actually did miss out on a few habitats because here is the beard's taper and we also did not see any koala. So where is this one located? Where? Why did I miss this one? That looks like the entrance. Oh, the koala is on the other side here. Oh, that is making things a lot easier. Okay, so this is the uh, ring to lemur. And the red rough lemur, I think. All oh, right, and then we went to the right side, but you have a really nice, cozy habitat here for the beard tapers with a nice little pool here. Wait a second, let's go here with a nice little pool here so they can swim because that is what they absolutely love to do. Really like this habitat as well. And again, like your terraforming and stuff looks so nice. And then if you go down here, also again, like notice the different height elevations in here. You have even a koala habitat. Let me guess, there are no koalas climbing. <laughs> Frontier, please update your game. <laughs> I think really the animals need a need an update. I don't think they are climbing. Where are the koalas? Yeah, there is one on the floor. As always, they're always on the floor walking around. <laughs> what a really nice habitat as well. Okay, one more check just to be sure if I did not miss out on any animals. Nope, it really does look like we have seen all the animals. Okay, so now I want to see. Just look how humongous this savannah is comparing to the rest of the zoo. Oh, wow. Oh, it looks so impressive from the top here as well. You did such a great job in planning the zoo and just taking care of all the little details around here with all the buildings because there are also actual like zoo, no, city buildings around here. So this is like the backside uh, entrance here. Oh man, look at that. And this is the, the backstage area. Oh my, I can learn so much from just looking from the top from this zoo. It's so impressive. Tina, really, really well done. Really am impressed by every work, uh, all the work and details that you put into this Tinwit City Zoo. 
absolutely amazing, really inspiring. Thank you so so much for for letting us check this one out on the channel. Definitely super original, something we have not seen before on the channel. Really impressive. Thank you so so much. And everyone, leave something nice for Tina in the comments down below because this definitely deserves a lot of amazing comments for this inspiring work. Thank you all so much for watching. Do let me know, of course, what you all think of it is beautiful city zoo leave a like at the video if you guys enjoyed and subscribe of course if you haven't already and yeah i just really do hope to see you guys all in the next one thank you guys so much for watching bye guys